Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share a Microtech production. Somewhat of a grail and definitely a piece I've wanted to add to my collection for a long while. This is the Microtech Matrix. Being the OG Matrix, this model was released in 2011 and still speaks to my taste today. Coming in with a handle length of 5 and a quarter inches and comprised of space grade weaved carbon fiber, aesthetically speaking, the build was way before its time. The handle has plenty of real estate for finger placement and freedom in different grips. Although the handle thickness comes in at 54 hundredths of an inch, the build feels extremely slim in hand due to all the contouring on the handle. The hardware, in my opinion, is what really sets the matrix apart, which the proprietary screws are still used on current builds by Microtech today, and they don't seem dated or lackluster. This pivot style has been updated, and the shape now protrudes from the face of the pivot, and honestly, I prefer the original concave pivot style. The titanium mill spacer begins at the heel of the blade and continues along the spine, then around to the end of the handles covering the blade's tip and protecting the entire blade's edge when closed. Adding integrity to the build structure, the spacer also has an integrated lanyard hole and is the surface the titanium clip mounts to. Running a space gray titanium sublock tab with a steel lock bar insert affixed via two Microtech screws again lends to its futuristic look, which is all subjective, but for me it's calling my name. I believe Microtech knives are overbuilt, not in an extreme overdone manner, but definitely a husky user type of feel. An example of this is the stop pin, which, just as with the pivot, is not only overbuilt and durable, but gives off a custom type of vibe on a production model. The Matrix has two means of deploy, the first being the pronounced flipper tab. Covered in a heavy jimping, the tab can be light switched and push button. The second means of deploy is the full length fuller which of course is my favorite and takes the matrix to the next level by adding an addictive fidget factor. The blade comes in at 3 and 3 quarters of an inch in length and comprised of CPM 154, sporting a hollow ground drop point with a satin finish. Coming in with a blade thickness of 160 thousandths of an inch again speaks to the robust overall user feel the matrix displays. Fit finish and attention to detail are all on par with a custom or at least a mid-tech. Although I prefer a sterile blade, this particular production model has a massive Microtech logo lasered into the blade, in addition to the release year, model name, and blade steel. The Talon is a pet peeve for most. I've definitely become more and more fond of this icon within time. Honestly, I think it's made and still makes it more difficult to counterfeit this build, which I can definitely appreciate. Depending on how light reflects off the logo, its iridescent properties produce an array of colors within the Talon. The fuller or blood groove is coated and then bead blasted to match the pivot, spacer, stop pin, and hardware, while the clip and sublock are finished in this amazing machine brush finish that plays into the finish along the blade's flats, down the entire drop of the blade's spine, and continuing on either side of the tab. The only jimping is located on the blade's spine, and just as with the tab, it's finished with a bead blast, giving off a lot of contrast within the gray tones. As you look down the blade's grind, you can see the depth that, in my opinion, lends to the blade's ability to reflect light in a blinding manner. The action is superb, and the fact this is the first detent wrap that I have seen with this depth as well as distance into the travel. The wrap extends a bit past half open, and furthermore, the blade is riding on large bearings, which add to the smooth action. The pivot's fit and finish is so well put together, I've removed the lock bar to properly maintain the build. And surprisingly, the matrix is so locked in, the blade didn't come off center. Although the blade becomes extremely free in travel due to relieved pressure, centering doesn't falter one bit. In conclusion, the matrix lives up to and beyond the standards I've had in mind for it. With all the key features of today's builds, plus some custom traits that accent the piece very well. With the exception of the Jim Skelton dub Fuck You Pocket Clip, which honestly isn't a deal breaker, but definitely isn't the star of the show but is something I can live with. And possibly over time, it will grow on me like that hideous talent did. No, but seriously, what are your personal thoughts on the Microtech Matrix from 2011? Comment down below and don't forget to like, share, and please subscribe to the channel. And with that, I'll be signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.